we go, gentlemen. You may now begin. All right. Uh, we're at four we're wearing hats in school, and uh, lots of kids, teenagers, and grown-ups love wearing hats. So I think kids should wear hats because wearing hats lets you build your personality, keep your head warm, and prevent kids from being different. Um, I don't think that um, there should be hats in school because it distracts people that are learning and teaching. And that there are three different re there are several different reasons actually. Um, there could be gang there's gang colors, there's lice, there is um, germs. It just disrespects the flag because sometimes when the, when the flag is in the morning, they uh, don't take off uh, their hats. So and then then they could like people could hide their hats and hide like like tests, or like cheats in their hats, and they could um, hide weapons and stuff like that. And um, the purpose of hats is supposed to for rain, cold, and sun. And and the, thing is, and the only problem with it is when in class you can't really see the student's eyes, so uh, you don't know if he's really paying attention. Well, my first detailed argument is that this is a free country. So people can do whatever they want if it's a free country, so like but we can't carry guns around, but hats aren't as bad as that, so why not wear hats in schools? Even if it's gonna be disrespectful or anything, it's not a big deal, really. Yeah. Yeah, but when the flag is going on I see that like some people don't take off their hats. Well like that's disrespectful, but if you're inside like, in public places, people wear hats all the time inside. But if it's, you're putting up the flag or taking it down, you should take off your hat. I think that wearing hats will build your personality. And, like, it could, like, build your personality. You could be a better person. Yeah. You know that you can wear a hat, and if you do, it just makes you personal. wear a hat to keep your head warm, it's because if you don't have a hat to keep your head warm, you could get sick and you could um, get pneumonia or something. Yeah. Um, but, but did you actually know that you get, um, <coughs> mostly you get colds and stuff from germs? Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything else? self-esteem, knowing that you, uh, teachers will wear, let you wear hats in school, you know, build your self-esteem and you'll be more confident when you're in school, being able to do more work and stuff. It makes you feel smart. You feel like you're always confident. Yeah, the only problem is that it doesn't really make you smarter. I mean, like in class, you don't really know if you're like, you're paying attention. Like, you don't really know if you're paying attention or not. I mean, you never know, you might be like, like chilling out or like asleep, you know. I don't know, but it gives you
think it could work as well. Gentlemen, we are now rebuttals. Yeah. Okay. So if it's the rebuttal day, you get the fresh rebuttal. Alright. Okay. Um, letting students wear hats in school is a positive thing. Because if, even if I like restate what he said, uh, I think the last um, detailed arg argument. Because some kids, if they like their hats a lot, they might feel like proud about it and whatever. So then they probably pay attention more maybe. And they're just, I don't know, they just like it. Um, I mean, I really think that it's true because you know, hats are like not like something that you can keep for you. You could keep a hat forever, but you know, the hat will never be around forever. It's just like a piece of cloth and stuff like that. And it's never going to be for the rest of your life. And I, mean, I think it's sort of stupid if people like think they have to wear hats every day. Because mm -hmm. you know, you know, it seems like they're like hat junkies. Yeah, these kids are right there. Okay, at one point you said having weapons in your hat. I don't think that'd be appropriate for school. Yeah. You know, if the hat is tightly on your head, you couldn't go have a weapon. Well, if it was like a pocket knife. There's no back and forth. Did you raise your hand? It's his turn to speak. You have to wait till spoken to. <laughs> like a mark in your head. Like you'd be able to smell it. And there'd be a big bump in your head. Not if it's like those small package ones. You just put it in your hand and you can see it. 